Grandmaster is in this week's Spotlight Cash, a underutilized card, uh, not so great. What do I always say? B is the, and it starts with a B. Trash. But if you happen to pull him by accident, here are a couple of decks that I'd like to show you. So the first one we have is a different take on a Destroy deck. We have some of the staples. We have Deadpool, X-23, Carnage, Killmonger, Venom, and Deathlock, and Death. And then we have a little bit of the lesser uh, used Destroy cards right now. Bucky has kind of fallen away. Uh, Sabretooth definitely it does not get used. So with this deck, we of course have a Deadpool game plan with Grandmaster, we can trigger our destroy cards twice. We will want to play them on the left or right location so they move to the middle. We have a potential play if we have a free death, we can play death into an empty lane and Arnim Zola, the death, to get 12 across the other two. So there are a lot of weird play lines here. It will keep your opponent guessing and be very unexpected and we will see how the deck does. This deck I have called the Turn 5 Zabu Circus. That is because what you do primarily is you have Zabu and now you either get a bigger discount through Wong or Grandmaster. The reason I don't have Mystique in this deck is because that goes all in on the Wong path. Whereas if you draw Zabu and Grandmaster, you can still go down the path of playing three four cost cards on your last turn. And if you get the Holy Grail of Wong into Zabu and Grandmaster, now your four cost cards all cost one on that last turn. So this is a more realistic way to go about reducing your four cost cards rather than going all in on Wong and trying to make them all zero cost. And this deck can't have success. It's off meta, so primarily use it for fun. And we will also take this deck and try to climb ranks and see how we do. So we will dive into infinite ranked. We are at rank 11,044. I'm going to use both of these decks interchangeably and see how high we can climb. Okay, first up we have win eight. Krakoa, X-23, Venom, and Arnhem. Hmm, do I want to be patient or do I want to play it out? I will be patient. Like and subscribe. And see what I draw into. I'm never in a rush to play. And that's why I'm not in a rush to play cards on the first turn. This is the exact reason. I drew into Deadpool. Nico has her destroy spell. So ultimately that's what we're going to do. I will play Nico middle to get one Jin, And I will play Deadpool right. I snap into this because this is a strong position. <laughs> Victory. And how about that uh, for a first game? So the the game plan right now is I play Nico mid, that gets me a gin. Deadpool bounces back to two. From there, I play it by ear. I may still avoid Krakoa and just play either mid or right, probably mid. And I play Deadpool into X-23 and then into Venom. Also, if I drew into Grandmaster, maybe I start playing right. And that way I can Grandmaster my Venom middle. I have Arnhem in hand. So ultimately, if I build up my Venom big enough, like let's say I draw into a Deathlock instead, then I can Arnhem the big Venom and get two left and right. If I get my Deadpool big enough, I was going to play him into Krakoa. So there were just a lot of options. I was very well set up for this. And that's why sometimes patience pays off. Okay, next up is Lil Baby. We have Wong, we have Goose. I might play Goose left. 
Shuri is also nice because if I can get Zabu and maybe even Grandmaster as well, I can Shuri in the long lane and get a massive amount of power. So Goose doesn't look like he's going to do much this game. Uh, I think I will still play Goose left. No, because I don't want to close myself off to options as far as Wong goes and Zabu. So we'll play Goose mid. That looks like a Mysterio play. There is the Zabo. Elysium is a big help. Do I get the Wong down now? I don't get the Wong down now. I I want to be patient. I don't want to expose what I'm doing. There is the Mysterio. Okay, destroy. Goose down, that stops any potential. By playing a uh, Iceman is tempting. So I will play Wong on this side. Leave myself options with Sean. And this is all we will do this turn because just in case I draw into Grandmaster. But also, that Sean is mighty tempting. So I will play Zabu. Iceman and Omega Red. I can sneak the crossbones in. I'm still afraid to snap because I'm afraid of destroy. Boy, if I draw... Oh, I can't draw into Grandmaster. I was thinking if I draw into Grandmaster. Play Sean right, Grandmaster right. That's an option with Wong down. Because Wong will move two of your Onrivo cards, except I only have one spot middle. But I think I'm fine. Because all I need to do is... And you see they're all one-cost cards, so Elysium is the Grandmaster stand-in in in this game. So if I Shuri and Captain Marvel, that's a 20-power Captain Marvel. And then the... Sean takes out the Sasquatch. I assume they're going to play Null over here, but that won't matter. And so even if the Mysterio is 4 here, that's 19, that still won't matter. So we should be safe. Okay, another death. And Shuri goes off twice because of the Wong. We got down Sean. Our Omega Red buff comes into play. And the real Mysterio was middle, but it didn't matter. So this is another good example of how this deck functions uh, without Grandmaster. Uh, he wants to stay hidden in the deck. But also, again, with Elysium coming into play, that's how Grandmaster would function with Wong and Zabu. Uh, just make sure you manage your space middle. Be very careful about that, because if you need to get more power there, you want to leave yourself space to actually have a card move there and play into there. What? Victory. So just get the call down. <laughs> what is happening? I think I'm gonna snap. So if you have Absorbing Man in your deck... <laughs> oh, these are some wins. Nico Destroy is nice. I'll snap on this. Just because you have cards that can clear away your other on reveals.
Okay, three. Victory. Who are these people just retreating? Your mom. Okay, next up we have flower selecting. We do have Zabu in hand. So the snap condition is to have Zabu and Wong or Grandmaster. Yondu gets rid of our Iceman, that is no problem. We will play Goose Middle. Going up against a Mill deck, those are always fun to deal with. Vormir, we do have Wong. I mean, I think I can just play the Jin mid. And then I can play the Jin and Wong next turn. Or Omega Red. I have to worry about a Doc Ock, which is probably coming left. So that's going to mess up my Zabu, sadly. So play the Jin. Let me get the Sunspot down. Yeah, let me get the Sunspot down here and the Wong down here. I really shouldn't stay because this is a... This is a Doc Ock left. And that can really mess me up, but we'll, we'll stay through this. This is the end of the season, right? And there it is, the Doc Ock left. And that pulls... Hmm. Okay, and that's why I put the Sunspot left, by the way. So it can grow. And also, I have Captain Marvel in the deck, so if they shone here, the Captain Marvel could move middle. So that's always an option. And here is actually the line. So we will just play this out. I can sneak a... I actually can't sneak too big of a card there. So that's the other nice thing about this, actually, is with with Wong out... Oh, they took a huge card. With Wong out, it baits a Red Guardian, but you're not all in on Wong. So you see my four-cost cards are worth two, eight, nine, and just this. Yeah, they effectively, <laughs> they effectively build my deck. So like I said, it wasn't a good stay because I called the, the Doc Ock left. This is probably going to be a game I leave in just so you can see how I was able to call this correctly and I said we should leave. And that is why. You, this is, it's very key to know the type of deck you're playing against and what your opponent's snapping means. So I know they're playing a mill deck, mill disruption. Those decks run Doc Ock. They play to Jin. So on turn four, they snap before they play their Doc Ock. That's proper snapping technique. You play before your big power play. And then you get down Doc Ock. They also run Sean. So they're almost definitely going to run Sean, play Sean left. And so really my only play, they pulled Cull. What a, <laughs> they really milled my deck. So the, the only play was kind of to Sean and have enough power, but I just wouldn't. And then potentially a Captain Marvel, but it just wasn't going to, to pan out. Alrighty, next up we are up against No X Cat. Sinister London. 
Can I get some destroy targets? I got my destroy cards. Wow, I have all of my destroy cards and nothing to destroy. Okay. I think we just start destroying now. This might be a lot of Deadpools in my hand. <laughs> but we will see. Ugh, Sebastian Shaw Surfer. And I have no tech in this game. What a game. In this deck. But we are not snapping. Uh, Hello. We will just roll the dice because I'm going to need to gamble against this surfer deck. Build up death. Hopefully it goes right, which it does. I definitely need to change my underwear. And our venom can be pretty large. Okay, they got rid of that. <laughs> Good decision. <laughs> Very good decision. Deadpool. Okay. I Deadpool. X23. No, I want to keep X23 out of the way. Hello. So I Deadpool and Killmonger. Because what I, I'm trying to set up is a. Arnim Zola, my large Venom. So I want to do that on the left side. What a game! Or maybe on the right side, actually, is, is the better play. So I can do it here. And then I can Arnim Zola it to a different location that they're not expecting. I'm gonna snap before I do this. Ninavalir is fantastic with Venom to lock in so much extra power. Now, if they just YOLO a Sean here, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and if I lose priority, I might be in trouble. So we will see what they play into the big house. And if that's enough. Let's see, let's see. I definitely need to change my underwear. <laughs> it was not gonna be enough. <laughs> so we would have had a 48, or what is this? 31? Why is this only 31, but I have 48 power here? Oh, maybe the Venom hasn't finished adding that power. So I'll just trust the location. It says 48. So a 48 powered Venom. Arnim that to the other two lanes. And we were just in business. Now, I there is a world where if the big house doesn't exist... I play Venom here and then Grandmaster it to the middle just to further keep them guessing. But that's risky with Nidavalier because they still might just play a Sean there anyway. So, but we also had a large Deadpool to pair with Arnhem on turn seven. We didn't play X-23 to just not have it get in the way of a potential Arnhem play. So understand that if you're going with this version, the not the not null version. And that's why we snapped before we had this big uh, play. Get the extra free cube. Okay, next up is El Hatch. We have Zabu in hand, we have Wong. That's nice. And we have Goose, so we know we can discount our cards. We will be playing Goose mid. We have everything we need in hand. So I just need to know what type of deck this is. Is it discard as their portrait avatar implies? Yes, it is. 
Sanctum. They can definitely get in there. Uh, we continue to be patient. This is the strongest line my deck has. <laughs> I really should snap because of that. But I am scared to death of Hella. Swarms, they won't really be able to play out. Not enough space. And Black Knight? I'm gonna snap. Because now I really have everything I need. Captain Marvel. Now Shuri would be probably the best draw here. And I say that because Shuri can buff Omega Red to 20. Or Captain Marvel to 20. Sadly, I won't be able to play my call. So he's kind of stuck. You can't get rid of... All the swarms you have, can you? Are you you're only going to play the one swarm? It's turn five. Okay, I can play crossbones, assuming they don't play anything here. We will see. Or they're just going to lock themselves out of the game? I am, reborn. I am so confused. But anyway, you can see how this deck <laughs> functions. Oh boy. So we will we will see. Okay, I can't play crossbones actually because they did play there. Oh, and I can't draw. Ugh. Ugh. Hold on, I think I'm fine by some miracle. <laughs> I, think, I think if I play Omega here, that gets me to 20. And then I just play Captain Marvel. And the Jin just for... Just because? Yeah, this should do it. And actually, Captain Marvel doesn't even need to move. Because Omega... Omega Red is doing the heavy lifting to win Sanctum. A Jin is that by one? <laughs> okay, so Victory. the locations didn't really let me play this out to the fullest extent that I would have liked to have shown, but. This is how it functions. You've got to see the Wong, Zabu, and Grandmaster. you got to see all of the one-cost cards, two of which I couldn't play. <laughs> but Omega coming in clutch for the closed-off location. Captain Marvel also had that in hand. Typically, I'd have a one-cost card. Monster Island further clogged me. So this, this was the less than ideal set of locations, but this deck was able to pull it out, so I will take it. Okay, we are up against Emily. We have Zabu in hand. Nice. Get our deck a little bit thinner. I will play Sunspot to the middle unrevealed location. Our deck is getting even thinner. So we are going up against a mill style deck, it looks like, whenever I want to record. <laughs> Mindscape. Ugh. And up against mill, but that does mean we're going, they're going to have at least one of our four cost cards in hand. Oh, nice. Nice. This is why you play in unrevealed locations. Snap. Going to soak. They probably have Doc Ock. I'm snapping because, to my knowledge, a mill type disruption type deck cannot get into Sanctum. 
And they also just bought us time. Now, Cable might have taken... No, he didn't. Okay. I think I play Captain Marvel here. No. Play Captain Marvel here. Just to continue to give myself space. Okay, Shuri's off the table. Yeah, this is why I wanted to give myself space. Go with Wong into Zabu Grandmaster. If I didn't have a turn six, I would have played Zabu and then Grandmaster. So we will go this way. They're going to play their Red Hulk. But that should be okay, because we have Sean. All of our cards are one. Uh-oh. What are you pulling? Okay. And then Red Hulk. They can't play them all. So I think I see this through. Because remember, Captain Marvel can move. Do they have another one cost card? And I guess I leave this open just in case something weird that I'm not accounting for give Captain Marvel space. Okay, there's the Sean, but then this can't be. Yeah, 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 there we go. And then Captain Marvel moves. <laughs> Look at that. Nice win. Victory. Very nicely done. So this is a perfect showcase of how this deck can perform. Again, this deck is really just for fun. Uh, you shouldn't seriously expect to climb with it. But this is a perfect showcase. We got our line that we wanted. The Wong Zabu Grandmaster. The location was limited. We were going up against Mill. But the the four cost cards that we play just have a lot of utility. And so I figured no matter what they did, there was just kind of no way for them to contest all three lanes with Captain Marvel moving. And thankfully I was right. Okay, so that is where I'm going to call it. We gained all of 12 ranks. <laughs> I think that's what it is. So I did break into the top 10,000s and then I dropped as low as 11.8. So there was a wide range of variation. Uh, again, because these decks are more just to have fun with, but they can win. You just need to know when to snap and retreat, which I'm not, I wasn't great at with this, with these two decks. But again, very fun. Uh, I love when the combos go off, so if you are a big combo deck fan, I would recommend these to you. Uh, you can have fun with them. Uh, we are, we will be in the new season by the time this video gets released. So I would say probably don't use it to climb, but once you hit infinite and you're looking to have some fun, if you want to go into conquest and use them, they can be fun. They're very unexpected and it's just an overall good time. So if you happen to accidentally unlock uh, Grandmaster, please do not unlock him on purpose. But if you accidentally get him, here are a couple of different off-meta decks that you can try and have fun with. So until next time, take care.